And Mississippi State basketball star is headed to a new team, Tammy. Yeah, that's right. I'm in the sports office with 16 WAPT sports reporter Josh Jackson. I understand Malik Newman has a new home. Yeah, that's right, Tammy. After informing Ben Howland, the Mississippi State basketball program, that he would be leaving about a month ago, he took some time to deliberate, and ultimately he went with the Kansas Jayhawks. You know, perennial powerhouse there. The 6'3 combo guard averaged just over 11 a game in his one season at Mississippi State, which is his dad's alma mater. We caught up with Wayne Brent, he advised the former McDonald's All-American throughout the process. Malik and I have a, uh, a great relationship. We always throw things off of each other, and, and throughout the process, he would come by and say, Coach, that's what I'm looking at. That's what school I'm going to visit. Uh, what do you think about this coach? Uh, what, did, what do you think about my chances of this coach getting me to the next level? And, and the whole conversation was, uh, at the end of the day, uh, where will he be 10 years from now? And, and that's what I tried to tell him. Uh, this is not anything you got to rush. Uh, you got a plan that you're trying to go to, and if it take you two or three years, then, then just be patient with it and trust the process. Yeah, former Mississippi State player Rodney Hood did the same thing in 2012. He decided to transfer, and he ended up going to the NBA, being a first-round draft pick. We'll talk a little bit more about that later at 6 in sports. Now, before you kick me out of the sports office, we <laughs> did want to talk about JSU. I understand they're facing some NCAA penalties. Yeah, that's right. Uh, just coming off of a SWAG championship, they made an NCAA tournament appearance. And now a little trouble for the men's tennis program. A former coach, uh, the NCAA, says that uh, he provided impermissible benefits to a prospect during recruitment and later permitted that same athlete who was not qualified for enrollment to practice and compete. Some stiff penalties handed down as well. We'll talk more about that at 6 in sports. The general consensus there, stay around for sports at 6. Yes, yeah, what I'm, I'm hearing right now. Thanks so much, Josh.